Hey guys, hope you're doing well today. In today's video, I want to show you another Stifflon Gobi I keep in my Hillstream Aquarium. The Gobies you can see on screen are called Stifflon Sephoris. These Gobies are also known as the Birdsong Gobi too. Right now, their colours look a bit dull and washed out at the moment, but when these Gobies are settled down and stress-free, they have some amazing colours. The males turn a bright fluorescent orange and they really stand out against the rocks in the aquarium. This is kind of an unusual colour for Stifflon Gobies to be. Most Stifflon Gobies tend to have iridescent scales, so this kind of makes this Stifflon Sephoris quite unique in my Hillstream Aquarium. They send out quite a bit compared to the other Stifflon Gobies in my aquarium. You don't really see these Gobies very often. I had to put a special order in for these Gobies. And since they were a special order, they cost a little bit more than normal. But I definitely think they're worth the money. So now I think it's time to drip acclimate these Gobies and get them into the Hillstream Aquarium. Here's some footage as soon as I added them to the Hillstream Aquarium. The males have a pale orange, almost kind of grey appearance to them. But they have a bright orange ring around the pupil of their eye. It's quite a distinctive feature on this Goby. Just like all my other Stifflon goby videos, I'd like to give you guys a little bit more information about this species. Stifflon cerufus is one of the smaller growing Stifflon goby. They grow to be about 1 inch. In the footage you can see these gobies are really small compared to the others. In the wild they're found in fast flowing rivers near the northern coastline of Papua New Guinea. Just like all Stifflon gobies, it can be hard to identify the correct species. Stifflon cerufus can often get mixed up with Stifflon melee. Both Stifflon gobies look really similar. The only way you could really tell the difference between them is if you count the rays on their dorsal fins. Now here's some footage of these Stifflon Sephoris about two months after I added them to the Hillstream Aquarium. You can see this male's coloured up really nicely now. The orange on his body is so intense. He really does stand out compared to all the other Stifflon Gobies you can see in the aquarium. Here's one of the less dominant males in the group. He still has that nice orange colour but it's not as intense as the other males. This is generally what they'll look like most of the time. Here's the most dominant male in the group. Since he is the most dominant male in the group, his orange is so much more intense compared to the others. Even though these Stifflon Sephoris are quite small compared to the rest of the Stifflon Gobies in my Hillstream Aquarium, they're still quite adventurous and brave. Especially during feeding time, they're not afraid to go for the algae wafers. It would be interesting if I get some female birds on Gobies. I think if there's any females in the aquarium, the males will show off their colours even more intensely. I'll have to keep an eye on buy some if I see any in the shop. If you got this far into the video, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of these Stifflon Sephoris in the comments below. Would you like to keep some of these Gobies in your aquarium? Let me know, I'm really interested to find out. And just before I go, if you want to help me out, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel to see more videos as soon as I post them to the channel. 